from the plains of Oklahoma, welcome high above downtown Oklahoma City. Welcome everyone, let's get ready for some NBA basketball on 2K Sports. So the Nets starting five. Irving is out there with Tim Hardaway Jr. And it's Durant, then there's Allen. Now the outcome tonight, Greg, could come down to the big men up front. You know, versatility will be key. The front court that can be physical, but also pass it, stretch the floor, will likely be the victor. To the paint, it's stolen by Allen. Gallinari against Duncan. Inside, Nets passing it around. Allen. Back to Duncan. On the wing, Irving. And he's good on the three ball. Irving's got the opening basket of the game for Brooklyn. And Coach can thank Junior's vision for this one. Watches how the floor is moving and spots the open man. There's Gallinari with the three. And Irving pulls it down. Duncan inside. Gallinari covering. And Junior gets it to go on the assist by Irving. Yeah, put some students in the classroom because that's exactly how you move the ball. Kyrie terrific at spotting the open man, and then you got to get it to him. Paul for three. Kept alive. Here's Adams. And good work on the boards. They pick up the second chance points. The tenacity on the interior, just battling, bringing that effort and will for second chance points. In the corner, Hardaway with it. Back to Duncan. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Not only can Junior step up and knock down free throws, he's also going to rack up a lot of team fouls. He's getting to the line here. And he makes both free throws. Makes it pretty tough on the defense. Who are you going to pick to send to the free throw line? And he's hitting the free throws right now. Form looks good. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. A drive by Paul. Nope, not that time. Nothing for two from the field. And, you know, we talk a lot about Paul as a leader on and off the court. Was elected president of the Players Association back in 2013. Re-elected for a four-year term in 2017. People simply trust his point of view. Oklahoma City has gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Paul outside. And a miss there on the triple. Really just struggling here in the first few minutes. Five attempts with only one falling. To the middle. Duncan scanning the floor. Left side Hardaway. Back to Duncan. Five on the clock. Good, and the assist goes to Hardaway. Duncan's got eight points. Well, we know for Chris Paul, Greg, it's nothing new to lead, but on Oklahoma City last year, he had to do it without being surrounded by superstar. You know, that's okay. Paul's a guy who wants to set the table. You have to have the ball to do that. He's at his best when directing traffic and making his teammates better. And going back to when he turned pro at just 16 years of age. Gallinari has proven to be one of the best players ever from Italy. You think about his final year in Milano and just how highly efficient he was first in the league's ratings overall. Six pick going from Italy to New York City and the fans had no idea what they were getting, but Gallinari eventually dealt in the Carmelo deal. And his career, although it's been multiple stops, has been pretty exemplary. Now the pass to Gallinari. Here's the triple. Here's Adams. It's Gallinari on top of the key. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Over Durant. Kick out to Adams. The Thunder with another miss. And being that close to the hoop, I thought he had enough room to finish that one. Here's KD. Back to Duncan. The kick out to Irving. Duncan up on top. To the paint. Tries yet again. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. They just couldn't come out on top last time they took on the Nets. That one was played in Brooklyn. It wasn't even close in their last matchup, uh, and their offense just wasn't ready to compete at that level. Looking for Allen and gets it there. Two points. That one goes. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. 
Thunder trailing by 10. And stolen by Junior. The three ball. Gallinari with the rebound. And so it's Gallinari with it. He'll bring it up for Oklahoma City. Gilgis Alexander, good. And how about the firing of that shot off with Gilgis Alexander not hesitating one bit. Here's KD. And that comes off the assist by Duncan. Duncan's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Gallinari against Duncan. Back to Adams. Knocks it loose. And stolen by Junior. To the inside. And slam dunk by Allen. And they have owned the paint so far. And the score reflects it. Yeah, the bully ball tonight has paid dividends. Highly effective. Down there. there are some players who are just absolutely dead, solid, perfect from distance. No doubt about it. And, and you know... There's three guys to me, though, that kind of separate themselves. Uh, and it's one because you have to honor their ability equally off the dribble from three and at attacking the paint. Steph Curry, James Harden, and Damian Lillard. Those three guys can all hit pull-ups and step backs from range off the dribble. Uh, they all got great vision, you know, so they can take advantage of defenses that get caught loading a little too much. And then they also are terrific at the, in the paint at getting to the free throw line. So those are the three guys I think that create the most havoc uh, when you start, start talking about having to guard the three-point line. Yeah, they, they have gone full throttle from the opening tip, showing no signs of letting up. Yeah, you wondered if they would take some time to find their A game. They did it at jump ball. They've been awesome tonight. First shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. Beautiful transition offense there. That's execution at its best. Yeah, once you burst through a seam like that, you got to look right towards the rim. Sweet play. Levert the pass to Duncan. Dishes it to Jordan. Gilgis Alexander with the steal. And, Kevin, they need to be consistent with their effort on the boards. You look at the box score, and they're at a definite disadvantage. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played harder. You know who that was. And that one's good. Schroeder. Gilgis Alexander just getting better and better at creating for his teammates. Dinwiddie kicks to Junior. And Duncan throws it down hard. Excellent all-around performance so far. Hence, the big lead. Well, if I was baking up a lead, I'd add two ingredients. One would be playing smart. The other one, playing selfless. They've done that tonight. Serve it up. Here's Schroeder. That one wide left. His touch from mid-range, and that's almost always good. That won't shake his confidence. And Jordan gets it to go. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. He lobs up the alley pass, and Noel throws it down. And hard to decide which was better, the pass, the catch, or the slam. Uh, there's no wrong answer. You <laughs> have to adapt on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team. Luwawu is checked in for Joe Harris. Outside for Jordan. Pass to Dinwiddie. Lock at six. Down low. Duncan finds Jordan. That's good, and so Duncan with the assist. Junior's got his seventh assist in the game. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this league. And it's Schroeder missing. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. And it's Levert missing. Under trailing by 12. They break it out. Five on three. Here's Baisley. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. There's Noel, and it's out of bounds. The Nets will take it the other way. Here. 
picked off in midair. And so, guys, it's Junior making things happen for Brooklyn. Between his points and his rebounds, he was a star for him in that quarter. Greg Dinwiddie, one of those players who seems to adapt to any situation. I mean, he's versatile. Total team player will do whatever is asked of him. He's really emerged after being picked in the second round a few years ago. And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And the Nets have been rolling right along here, haven't they? In that first period, they showed a willingness to make the extra pass. Now, so much unselfish play out there. The coaching staff has to be thrilled with that. In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. Setting the floor for the Nets. They've got Junior. He's out there with Jordan. Crawford out there with Luawu, and it's Dinwiddie in at the point guard position. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. Junior, in his last outing against the Mavericks, lit up the floor. He scored 53 points. And as he always seems to do, piled up rebound after rebound. It's rare to see any player put up numbers like that. It's likely a game he'll always remember. Kevin? Excellent, David. Thank you. Greg, how impressive was it watching him completely take over? Unstoppable. Uh, they Time won out. that game Time because out. of his effort and just his overall relentlessness. Yeah, going up against the team. He has the toughest offense to stop in the NBA. Pass to Harris. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. Pops it up for Jordan. There's the steal. And they're moving it up. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And down it goes, jamming that one home. Ooh, no layups right there for SGA. Up to the rim. And there's the pass to Levert. This is his first free throw of the game. The first free throw is good. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time improving so much since his rookie season. I can't wait to see the next step Levert makes in his career. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for the Thunder. It's a 16-point game. Here's Bost, guarded by Harris. Pass to Jerome. Six on the shot clock. Inside. And a great assist by Gilgis Alexander as that one goes in. Jerome's got nine points. Duncan right side. In the corner, it's Harris. And the three ball is good. And the Nets lead by 17. I love the unselfishness, and you know coaches do as well. Well, not just coach, but you can see it in the teammates, the way that they look at him, they appreciate it when he shares the ball like that. There's Noel, and Jordan sends it back. Well, the arms of DeAndre Jordan are like a horizon line. They go on forever, which allows him to send those shots back. Gilgis Alexander passes to Baisley, and again, Oklahoma City with the triple. That was big, because they dug a big hole in the first quarter, but starting to show signs of life. And the dunk by Jordan. Well, Jordan's such a great dunker. Some of the jams he has are completely jaw-dropping. Gilgis Alexander surveying the D. Dinwiddie against Gilgis Alexander. A nice shot by Levert. And, and I like the fact that he really was unfazed by that scoreless first quarter, and now you can see him getting into a rhythm. With his first shot attempt, Thunder with the rebound. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing the last matchup with the Lakers. Yeah, on the road, you're already a little out of your element. Then the misses from the line become contagious. Well, it can affect your confidence, not just as the player shooting, but the entire team. So defenses might get a little bit more aggressive, and then you got to think about the next free throw. This is it to Jerome. And Noel kicks to Gilgis Alexander. Six to shoot. Shoots over Dinwiddie. Gilgis Alexander can't get it to go. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. Duncan, the pass to Jordan. To the paint. 
Whistle blows, basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Doing a lot of nice work now from the field. He's helped get them this lead, and now he's helped them keep it. Brooklyn shooting their fifth free throw of the game here. Uh, one thing you know about Junior is while he's on the floor, he's going to play with his father in mind. He was a very good player. Junior trying to honor his late father's legacy every time he laces him up. And so it's Brooklyn controlling the game and finishing the quarter with a 20-point lead. The route that it's threatening to be. You look at Junior in this one, he's been everywhere. Well, it didn't take him long to get that double-double. Already has it halfway through the game. Yeah, guys like him love to stuff the stat sheet. He's doing it here. Gallinari and Adams, the combo out front. Gilgis Alexander out there with Paul, and it's Jerome in at the three slot. That's Billy Donovan's five as we get going here in the second half. The 11-footer, and no good, trying to use the glass. Nets leading by 22. Pops it up for Jordan, and the dunk by Jordan. Well, that's where they look to him most, DeAndre Jordan, with arms that go on for days. Just toss that ball anywhere, and he knows what to do with it. Paul passes to Adams. There's the dish to Gallinari. And Gallinari throws it down. Flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. One of his favorite moves right there, guys. That's the toughness that the coach really loves to see as Junior just looks at the defense and sets himself up to go. Jared Allen's checked in for Jordan. He throw good, Duncan. Greg, how special was it for you that you had your number 50 retired at UNLV? You know, that's something that I can honestly say. As a kid, you dream about a lot of things. Winning, you know, playing at the, the highest levels. Uh, that's something I never really fathomed, is uh, to have your jersey hanging up in an arena. That was a surreal moment, a, a really cool moment, and it was awesome to be able to share it with my family and friends. And people probably uh, don't know that you grew up in Las Vegas, so it was probably doubly special, wasn't it? Exactly. Born and raised. Here's Paul. Gallinari wide open. Hands the shot with nobody near him. Gallinari's got 10. Nice swing, swing action there. Gallo, he simply squares up and rises to the occasion. And Duncan throws it down. And really the story of this second half. One team getting the shots they want. The other, not so much. Yeah, this team did something in halftime, going from a mild-mannered, half-court executing team to some heroic shooting in the second half. And it's Gallinari again missing. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. He has a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. My life was over. Adam said his strength doesn't help with flopping. The refs are like, get up. Guys, he has a sense of humor about it, and maybe that's a counterbalance to his great physical gifts. You're right, D.A., he is strong. Thanks for that report. And the Thunder making a change here. Schroeder's checked in. And everything is dropping for them. Terrific second half run. Well, with the confidence growing, that's one thing, but they seem to be getting more intense, and that's helping the quality of their play here. And the call on the shot it sends him to the line. Oklahoma City shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. Yeah, looking over their percentage on the season, I think they will be thrilled with the number in terms of their free throw percentage, 79. Luwawu is checked in for Brooklyn. Crawford comes in for Tim Hardaway Jr. Right now operating on another level, almost like Junior's floating out there. And so it's Schroeder with the ball. He'll bring it up for Oklahoma City. Next step for them, the Knicks coming out here to play. And that game is the second of two straight at home. To the middle, Adams. And Adams with the slam. Not getting old here, seeing him make that lead pass with perfect timing. And it's Junior missing. Thunder have gone three of six in the third quarter. 50% from the field. And Gallinari kicks it over to Schroeder. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Allen. Now the lineup for your thunder. 
Rick Boss. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. Here's Bost. Adams trying to free himself up. And he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. Well, Steven Adams has more skills than just being a screen setter out there, showing them off there. And uh, kind of par for the course here, right? Coming through with a solid offensive game to help them get this lead. It seems like every team, Greg, needs that one enforcer, that one guy who's going to get under opponent's skin. Well, in one poll of coaches and players, Adams was voted the second dirtiest player in the league. One guy said he's real physical, but maybe he crosses the line. He throws the sneaky elbow here and there, commits extra hard fouls, yet Adams usually escapes foul trouble. Allen finds Crawford. Here's Duncan. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Adams has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Pass to Bost. And it's Junior with the rebound. Junior's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Irving, good. So, so clever. He finds different ways to probe inside and Kyrie with a great finish. Adams, the pass to Schroeder. They double him with Irving. Adams shot is off. Yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. Yeah, you can see when it's that close, players react. He's just, oh, man, we just missed that one. Maybe they'll get another chance at it. Changing ends quickly, getting the advantage in numbers and finishing. They've been doing it all night long. Yeah, their energy level's been amazing. Battery bar still full, hustling, and still working hard out there. Yeah, undersized guys with athleticism do these kind of things, playing above the rim. Love to see him get up like that. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. And that one falls for Duncan. Now we know the TV networks have brought more revenue, Greg, to the NBA. The expectation is for another bump and they renegotiate in 2023. You know, at the same time, though, Kevin, with all the cord cutters out there, the league looking to make the game more accessible to those fans. I expect that to be a big part of this next deal. Right, on your tablet, smartphone, or your computer. Mm -hmm. The pass to Levert. The Nets working the ball around now. Dinwiddie kicks to Harris. To the inside, Duncan, and Duncan throws it down hard. And I consider Junior to be a natural athlete. Really impressed with his ability to finish play. Pass to Bost. 146 left in the third. Poked away. Some solid defense from Harris. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. And out of bounds as the Thunder gain possession. And that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. Chris Paul, he's checked in for Gilgis Alexander. Fires from 14. The shot by Paul, no good. Well, he wants to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but... The struggles continue. Okay, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence here, and, and try to find a way to get on the board. Absolutely the prettiest play in basketball executed to perfection. I don't think you'd get an argument there. Everybody loves the alley-oop. It's stolen by Duncan. And it's Jordan to top the key. Back to Duncan. He doesn't hit that one. And it's Oklahoma City the other way. They push it up, four on three. Noel wide open, he fires. Off target from three-point range. All against Dinwiddie. On the wing, Harris. And the Nets, another three. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Pass to Noel. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Paul's got his third assist on the night. Uh, unselfish play of Chris Paul there. Has a knack for knowing when to get his guys when they're wide open. Jerome is checked in. Vanette's also changing it. 
for Brooklyn. They've gone 5 of 11 from the field in the fourth quarter. Setting the floor for the Nets. Allen is out there with Junior. Then it's Garrett Temple. Then it's Crawford. And it's Luawu in at the small forward. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Paul looking around. Back to Adams. Let's the three fly. Allen with the rebound. Allen's got his eighth rebound here tonight. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. And Junior throws it down. Good intensity from Junior here. Boxes out to win the rebound and goes right back up for the score. And the foul called on Junior. That's his third foul of the game. Been a lot of talk, Greg, about in-season tournaments in the NBA to spur fan interest. The proposal was tabled for a bit. Um, what are your thoughts on that? You know, cash prizes for the players and coaching staffs. So that always seems like a good idea. I just wonder, Kevin, if they're going to be any cash prizes for the broadcasters. Because I now so. I think they're on to something. <laughs> we could get that, you know. And But in all seriousness, we, we see that in soccer, right? And it seems to work well. And, and I think if, the, if it can spur some more interest from fans, then I'd be all for it. Yeah, the fans love it watching soccer. Fires from deep. Rebound, Brooklyn. Junior's got his 16th rebound on the night. Temple dishes to Duncan. Allen kicks to Temple. Second shot opportunity, and Allen with the layup. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Passes it to Dort. And a great assist by Gilgis Alexander as that one goes in. Gilgis Alexander's got five assists in the game. Allen goes back up, and that's two points on the layup. Allen's got 20. A superb offensive rebounder. Allen's long arms and feel for how to get positioning helps big time. And stolen by Junior. Here's Temple. Dort grabs the miss. The Thunder have gone 8-13 from the field since the start of the fourth, sinking the majority of their shots. Gilgis Alexander, good. Gilgis Alexander comes at you in a lot of ways. There's floaters and pull-ups and drives. Pretty gifted offensive player. Junior the pass to Allen. And again, another assist. That makes 15 assists. He's been one step ahead of the defense all game long. And the foul called on Junior. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. Greg, it's pretty typical for players of the past to talk about current players and say, they may have struggled had they played when I played. What do you think of that line of thinking? You know, I... I just don't agree with that. And I think we all do that. We all feel like our era was the best. I had the same thoughts being passed my way when I first came into the league. I'm sure. The reality is these guys work just as hard as guys worked back in our era. They just have more understanding of what their value is. And in a lot of ways, they've got more courage to speak out because, you know, let's face it, they're more of a bullseye on their back in today's era with social media than we've ever seen before. That is true. And Brooklyn making a change here. Prince has checked in. Brooklyn with the ball. They're on a 14-6 run. Here's Allen, and slam dunk by Allen. More from Allen. Can pile up points without wasting possessions. Very economical. 143 left in the fourth quarter of this one. And the pass to Muscala. And it's off from three-point range. And here's Duncan. He'll bring it up for the Nets. Luwawu Cabrero kicks to Junior. And that one is good. Junior's got 47 points. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance, and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for Brooklyn. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that, and man, they, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And words can hardly describe the way these guys have come out game after game after game and been dominant facing both conferences. 
When they hit the 72 win mark, we thought it couldn't continue. And when they rewrite the record books once more, we'll say, wow, we were glad we watched it all. What a team. Really, they had their number this season. Two wins, a home win, and an away win. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Duncan. Uh, he, he was in the zone. Uh, he's just a man on a mission, and that helped him notch that triple-double. There's Gallinari with the three. Rebound, Brooklyn. 26 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Wing shot on the way. Out to Duncan. Second chance shot. Rebound by Muscoa. Over to the left wing. Dort passes to Gallinari. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Sweet shot from Gallo. So many ways he can hurt you. Here's Junior. And so it's Brooklyn easily grabbing this one. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I, I guess they don't need home cooking to feel at <laughs> home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. And that'll do it, folks. So for David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and the whole 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. We'll see you next time.